So when I was 15, I heard the term bucket list for the first time in my life, and that was 11 years ago. I know, I'm 26, almost. But ever since then, I've been working my way through my bucket list. First I wrote it, then I started working my way through the list, but I've been doing it for 11 years now. And I've developed a strategy that helps me accomplish everything on my bucket list. Now, I haven't accomplished everything yet, but I'm on my way and I've actually accomplished the number one thing on my bucket list this year. So, if you want to know what the process is like and how you can personalize it, continue watching this video and watch this video until the end because I have a very special bonus tip that I don't think anyone has ever shared on YouTube. So you don't want to miss out. So let's get started. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I'll be talking about them more later in the video. Thank you so much, Skillshare. You guys are amazing. And the sun is perfect for this video. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do when you create your bucket list is to focus on what you want, not what everybody wants, not what people who create videos on how to create a bucket list want for you, not anything that is not truly aligned with who you are. So if you know what a bucket list is, this is a list of things that people write when they think about the things that they want to do before they die. And for many people, that includes extreme sports like skydiving, bungee jumping, so many things that are extreme or just, you know, super adventurous. But if you're not an adventurous person and like skydiving is not something that you want to experience before you die, you don't have to put it on your bucket list. This is your list. This is your life. So this is very, very important. Think about the things that you want to do and try to focus on them. So don't think in terms of, oh, everyone would do this or everyone wants to do this. So I should want to do this too. No, 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 no. You want to focus on you. So one of the things that is personal for me, and this is something that I actually accomplished, is to go to New York City and to see the Friends apartment and to see Carrie's apartment from Sex and the City and also to have the Serena Vanderwoodson shot at the Grand Central Station. So I know that not everyone wants to do it, but I wanted to do it and I did it for myself. That was my bucket list. So think about you. What do you want to do? Focus on yourself, baby. The second thing that I want you to do is I want you to think in terms of infinite possibilities. Many people limit themselves when they create a bucket list because they don't believe this is actually something that they can accomplish. But think about it. Think about anything that you would like to do before you die, like, I don't know, publish a book or write a book. How many people in the world have written a book? Millions. So why do you think that it wouldn't be possible for you? right? Or maybe something that is a bit more challenging, like, I don't know, winning at a film festival or running a marathon. Truly everything is possible. So I want you to think in terms of infinite possibilities, because the only reason why we think that something is impossible for ourselves is because we don't believe that we, like actually like ourselves, are capable of doing it. But we think that everyone else can do it. Why wouldn't we think that we can do it too? We're human, yes, but we can also do it. Like literally there is nothing that stands in our way besides our minds. So remember, infinite possibilities. The next step is to actually write it down. Write down your list for many reasons. Number one, it increases the possibility of you actually accomplishing this thing because you committed, you wrote it down somewhere. That's huge. <laughs> You'll be also able to review your list as often as you need to, as often as you want to, to remember what you actually want to do, what you actually want to accomplish, what you want to do before you die. So this is a very, very important step, right? things down. And the last reason why I think it's important to write your bucket list down, like actually have it somewhere, preferably physically, like in a notebook, is that years later, you will be able to read your list and realize that at some point you accomplish something, maybe even without thinking about it or without remembering about it. And this is something that happened to me this year. So when I was living in London and we booked one Airbnb for two months and we moved into this Airbnb and it, it had this amazing, gorgeous view. And at first I was like, huh, I can see London Eye from this apartment and Big Ben and everything really. And then it hit me, like literally it hit me in the middle of the night. So I took out my journal and I opened it on my bucket list and there it was, the number one thing that I wrote down in 2015 was that I wanted to live in an apartment in London with a balcony and the view of London Eye and Big Ben. And when I was moving into that apartment, I had forgotten about this bucket list. <laughs> I had forgotten about this goal. And that's one of the reasons why I'm 
filming this video right now because I was reminded of it, but I wouldn't have remembered it had I not written it down. So you have to write things down. You have to write your bucket list down. The next thing is so, so important. So remember these infinite possibilities. Well, you're going to have thoughts that are going to tell you that you are not good enough. Who are you to accomplish this? But these thoughts are not the truth. They are some old programs and thought patterns or societal constructs that we were taught so that we don't do the things that we actually want to do. So in terms of noticing these thoughts, observe them and then question them and rewrite these thoughts so that you can think of yourself as a successful person. Person. But sometimes we all need some help when it comes to accomplishing our goals because we need to brush up on some skills or develop new skills and that's something that Skillshare can help you with. Skillshare is an online platform for creative people who want to explore their creativity and learn new skills that can help them build their dream life. One of the reasons why I love Skillshare so much is that it helped me build my YouTube channel and I believe that no matter what career you want to pursue or what goal you want to accomplish, Skillshare can help you with that. I recently discovered the class the Writer's Toolkit, Six Steps to a Successful Writing Habit by Simon Van Boy. And I love this class so much because Simon emphasized the importance of the act of writing. Even if you don't end up publishing a book, you can write a book. And if you want to write a book, Simon's class is incredible. I highly recommend it. But Skillshare offers so many more classes on topics such as animation, illustration, social media, productivity, and so many more. And with an annual subscription, the premium membership costs less than $10 a month, which is so incredibly affordable. And the majority of classes are under 60 minutes. They are digestible and they are super, super fun and hands-on. So you can always fit them into your schedule. The first 1000 subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of premium membership on Skillshare. And I couldn't recommend it enough. If you've been subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos, you know how much I adore Skillshare. I love them even before they sponsored my videos. So I highly recommend that you check them out. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so, so much. The next thing that you want to do is something that I mentioned at the very beginning, but that is including your regular day activities, your mundane things that you want to accomplish on your bucket list. So let's say you're writing your bucket list and you're thinking of all of these grand, amazing things that you want to accomplish. But remember about something that is so simple, but everyone forgets about it, <laughs> me included. Like sometimes I even forget about it. The true satisfaction that comes from accomplishing the things on your bucket list comes from the actual journey, from the process. It's not about the, the moment, the exact moment when you accomplish these things. Of course, when you realize like, oh my God, this is what I wanted, I did it, this moment is amazing, yes. But you cannot only live for those moments, you have to like the journey, you have to enjoy yourself when you're accomplishing these things and enjoying the process. So I really want you to think about what would make the process more enjoyable for you. The next thing that you want to do is you want to visualize yourself accomplishing your goal and you want to feel the feelings associated with accomplishing this goal. So let me give you an example. If one of your goals is to earn I don't know, $100,000 a year, just take a few minutes, sit down and visualize yourself earning that much money. What would you spend it on? How would you live? Like, where would you live? How would you use your money on a daily basis? And when you're thinking about it and visualizing it, feel the feelings that you would feel if you were actually already earning $100,000 a year. So how would you feel? Feel those feelings in your entire body. And that is so helpful and so beneficial because our brains don't differentiate between what's real and what's imaginary. And that helps us prepare ourselves for actually accomplishing the thing. So visualize and feel the feelings and this will help you accomplish your goals that much faster. And you can do it every single day or every other day, but remember to do it because I used to do it, I still do it. And I know that it helps me personally, so give it a try. And now tell people about it. Tell people about your goals and your dreams and the things on your bucket list. I remember when I first wrote my bucket list, I wanted to tell everyone about it. And I was just so, so obsessed with it. And everyone knew what I was going after. And I remember sharing so many goals with people and that made it even more real. So writing things down makes it more real because you're committing, but then sharing your dreams and sharing your bucket list with the world or with your family and friends makes people aware of what you want to accomplish and they can actually help you with that. They can actually help you make these dreams possible and make them come true. Like 
they can connect you with some people or maybe they know somebody who knows somebody who has a boat and you can rent it and you can go and live on a boat if you want to live on a boat and if that's something on your bucket list and if you want to you can go to my website and you can read what is on my bucket list because I want to share my bucket list so that you are inspired to share yours with your friends and your family and we can help each other accomplish the things that we have on our bucket list so the link is in the description if you want to see what is on my bucket list all right so we've got our bucket list written down we we know what we want to accomplish. We are visualizing, we're excited, we're telling people about it. But there's one more thing, because if you don't do that thing that I'm about to tell you, this will be not important. And that is you need to change your mindset. Hold on. That's better. You need to stop thinking in ways that you're used to thinking. For example, we talked about the limiting thoughts and the infinite possibilities, right? But if your way of thinking of yourself is that you can't do anything, you are not successful, you are just basically a person who has a regular life and will never accomplish these things, well, you need to start thinking like the person that you want to become in the process of accomplishing your things on your bucket list. So now your way of thinking about yourself is an achiever, a person who is going after their dreams, a person who has unrealistic life expectations, but that is going to meet them because that is who they are. This is how I want you to think of yourself from now on all the time, because that is who you are becoming. You are becoming a person who is just living their dream life, but you cannot live your dream life if you're thinking that you're not a person who can live their dream life. So change your mindset, change your way of thinking about yourself, and at some point you'll realize that you are actually an achiever. You're actually the person who is inspiring others to go after their dreams. I used to be this person, I was like, can I actually do it? Can I go after my dreams? And many of you might be watching my channel and be like, hey, Laura is actually like an inspiration because she is living her dream life but I wasn't always like that. I became like that. And you will become this way too if you change your mind, if you are actually serious about this dream life that you want to build for yourself. So let's change the location for the last time and I'll share the final bonus tip, which I don't think anyone is sharing on YouTube in these types of videos. Here's my bonus tip for you guys. It is the content, not the frame. If you have been visualizing your goal and you've been thinking about it and you wrote it down and at some point you realize that you accomplished something similar but it was something completely different it's still an accomplishment i'll let me give you an example one of the things that i wanted to do is i wanted to go to um, Cinque Terre i think i'm pronouncing it correctly in italy you know these places like these picture postcard beautiful incredible cliffs with houses and the beaches i really wanted to go there and last year i had the opportunity to go to positano and sorrento and naples and when we went to positano for some reason i never really associated positano with cinque terre because they are not actually the same places but when i went there and i experienced being there and i looked around at these beautiful incredible views and i sat on the beach and i was just you know, contemplating my life there, I realized that it, even though it wasn't the same place, I still accomplished my goals. What I wanted was I wanted to go to a place like Cinque Terre. I wanted to go to a place like these places. And what I realized back then was that even though it wasn't the exact place, it was the perfect place for me. And it was similar enough <laughs> that I checked Cinque Terre off my bucket list because I felt that I had accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And this is what I wanted to leave you guys with. Sometimes it is not about the exact thing, it's about the feeling, it's about the people, it's about what you think of yourself when you're in this place. And I know that sometimes the universe brings us something that we thought we wanted and we realize that it's actually not what we wanted, but sometimes the universe brings us something completely different and yet we realize this is exactly what I needed. And so it's about the content, not the frame. And I think this is the perfect way to end this video. I hope you are inspired to create your own bucket list. Don't forget to check out Skillshare and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to like this video if you enjoyed it. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my daily life and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Also, I really wanted to make this video, but I couldn't film it in my house. So that's why we are here. That's why we have different light situation. I hope you forgive me, but I hope you enjoy the vibey background. Like literally, this is the most vibey place <laughs> I could think of for this video. So enjoy.
One of the reasons why I wanted to film this video here was that I wanted to feel like the main character. <laughs> I wanted to feel like the person in an indie movie or in a coming of age movie that is just, you know, feeling themselves and becoming who they really wanted to become. Like I always wanted to be so confident that I would be filming a video in my hometown in a different language and at a place like this, which is just like iconic. Um, and I, I feel like the main character right now. And even though it might be like irrelevant to a lot of you watching this, I think that this is something that I probably would have added to my bucket list had I been more confident in the past, but now I can add it and I can cross it off and just feel like the main character that I am. So remember, you are the main character of your own life, of your own movie. So feel, play, and act the part.